past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Who's there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed. Try our swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masaya, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, you may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tomb. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, I Go! Won't.
Pope Clement, hear me. Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty. And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple. I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys throw out their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Uh, hell. Whoa. 
What happened? <laughs> Put that away now. I'm ordering you to stand still. their faces when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur they're getting away. I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of the Elise. Father? We should all be called by Come here, girls. Now. Father? Fairly at cards, so you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. Ah! I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. Oh, this is the Jesus you call. Ah. 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 I say. Sorry. Pardon, madam. Come to an understanding. Please excuse him, he's not housebroken. Thick headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. 
Get back here! Ah! Au voleur! Et parlez-vous de lui! I'm gonna smash your skull into pipe! Ah, yes. A wise man knows when to admit defeat, Victor. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arbor in a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea sea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise.
Alors, il fallait mieux articuler, cher ami. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. De la serre. Wait! Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu, nom de Dieu. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very. Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Bad luck, lad. You'll have to go around. Make way, make way! Oh, damn it, slow down! Apparently, Walnut is a popular finish this season. Driving this coach, Pelops. Arrêtez. Monsieur de la Seine. What I need is a bird's eye view. Disappearing trick.
d'infecter son épouse pour ce qu'il se fait. Devil are they? Which are immense, I won't have to ask. That may be considered treason. The war, dispendious, but honorable, has been the cause. Not these two again. They must have tailed off from the estate. They have been the next necessary and have been the most sensible and legal repartition. L'attitude générale, un désir exagéré d'innovation, se sont emparés des esprits et finiraient par égarer totalement les opinions si on ne se hâtait de les fixer par une réunion d'amusage et modérée. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Easy, big fella. Day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You boy, sir. What are you doing there? Uh, running.
Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. Memoir de Monsieur d'Artagnan. Elise's favorite. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Le Traité du Monde et de la Lumière de Descartes. Never could get through that one. I best not leave without dropping off this letter. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre, no guest. 
Arno. Oh, Le chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite! If I do, what? Certainly not. Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. I can't remember the last time we were all together like this. It must have been that business with, uh... And I would thank you not to speak to you. Merci. Un autre jour. Thank <laughs> you. 
She always did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. And what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? <laughs> Don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Who's in there? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Oh, my! That was not a billion room at all, was it? Could have been on party duty. No! Waste of time. There's nobody out here. Odd. Wait a what minute. What was that? Who's even going to come out here? Ten to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's bum out of shoes. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre! Monsieur de la Serre! Sivert, come away! Guards! Help! Murder! Killed Lord de la Serre. No! It, it wasn't me! Tommy outwielded the knife! 
please! Have mercy! Gallia est omnis divisa in partes tres. They're killing us! Oh God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate! <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Volumus et credimus libenter, et quesentimus ipsi relicus sentimus peravus. Hello? I must speak to someone! Welcome to your new home. No! Not the hot iron! Please! Anything but that! Go open this door! Scream all you like. No one cares. I must speak with Elise de la Serre! Do you hear me? Elise de la Serre! Elise! Bring Elise to me! I'm no killer! You're wasting your time. Killing everyone! Oh God, help us! What are you staring at, pisspot? Don't bother me, boy. From where I'm sitting, I could kill you seven ways. Twelve if I had a spoon. Will no one deliver us? Where'd you come by this, Pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can.
Well struck, piss pot. Let's see if your defense is as good. <laughs> So much effort for a broken antique. The only broken antique in here is wrapping his idiot jaw. Say that again. I've nothing more to say, old man. Hit him! Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? These here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss pot. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. Of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. In what? 76? 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Again! Ow! Focus, piss pot. What the hell is going on out there? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open, opportunity might just come knocking soon. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners! Follow my lead. Prison is up against the wall. On whose authority? I told you this was going to end badly. Silence! Stay back! Prison is up against the wall. Stay back! Right. Let's get out of this shell. for a bit piss pot. One of them stabs me. I'll haunt you to an early grave. Keep him surrounded. Yeah. Oh. Find a solution. 
Pisspot. It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up here! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! If you can pluck your head out of your own arse, come find us! You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, Pisspot! You! Back away from the ledge! Please? That's some welcome. One can't be too careful. But after what happened... Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? 
Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father, he wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arnaud. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that...? A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. I know, Pin. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. What is this supposed to mean? Yeah. <laughs> 